92.7 kg today and that is a three month high. Now it's weird that I'm gaining weight when I'm doing a lot more runs, still going to the gym, but to be fair, I am eating more. On my Strava, my fitness score's going up and my, my numbers are going up. I did a 42 minute run yesterday. It was probably the easiest run I've ever done and I managed to keep it sub 10 minutes mile and it was incredibly easy like I could have I could have gone on for like an hour but I'm doing four 40 minute runs this week and then an hour and a half run then on the weekend bringing me on to a few bits of equipment that I've bought so I went to decathlon um the, the other week and so I, th I thought you know what like just kit out loads of money on decathlon but I went there I trod on loads of like windbreaker jackets and stuff i mean fair enough that that's the sort of demographic they're aiming their products to but the 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 arms of of these these jackets are just so long so i tried on i'm usually a large so i tried on a large but the, the shoulders and the chest and the back was just really really restrictive like i couldn't bring my arms more forward than that so obviously i couldn't get large so i went to extra large and then it was just incredibly long literally every single product was just incredibly long so had to sack that off, but I didn't go home empty-handed. I did pick up some of these winter gloves. Now I suffer from Raynards like really bad, like literally, like I've been I, I've I've been getting Raynards in September. Yeah, I picked up these, and it's got a it's got a mitten that you can take on and off and just tuck back into the into the cuff, like so. So if I don't want the mitten, I just wear them like this. But if it's a, if it's especially windy or it's especially cold, see it's got it's got a uh, sort of reflective barrier there, my sort of windbreaker, and then as you're running, you can just yeah. I, I wanted some cheap t-shirts. I wanted some cheap shorts just to run in because I'm going to be doing a lot more like washing and stuff. I don't want to like spend loads of money on like shorts and t-shirts if they're going to be washed all the time and then they're going to get ruined in like three or four months. These shorts, I've also got a, a black pair on. So if you can see that black pair and i've got t-shirts a navy and a black one three t-shirts two pairs of shorts cost me eight pound 75. now you're probably wondering why i got it from tiktok shop yes i did i got it from tiktok shop i'm not very happy about it but it is what it is but for eight pound 75 you cannot go wrong so to be fair i'm probably not going to wear these running these shorts running um i'm probably going to wear these as gym shorts just because they're slightly longer than what i wanted and i feel like because I, I wore the gray ones out on a run and yeah it just didn't, didn't feel very good right the next one and the next this is a big one as you might have seen i haven't got my apple watch on my wrist what i've got is the garmin phoenix 7 phoenix 7 sapphire solar now i've been doing a lot of research into watches because my series 5 it's it's not as it hasn't got a very good battery life as it is apple watches but because i got the series 5 it's even worse and although day to day i can get you know i can get to the end of the day and it's only it's at about 30 percent battery when i'm doing the ultra marathon or the ultra run sorry 40 miles like i'm i'm i'm, th I'm thinking it's going to be about nine ten hours and I, the watch is going to, have to be on at all times and i'm going to want to use gps and all those things so I put my I put the Apple Watch through a test the other the other week, and well for one day in the week, and I left the activity mode on the Strava on, and it drained the battery from I think it was eighty six percent all the way down to thirty two percent in about five hours, which isn't very good considering that I want I want to get about at least ten hours out of out of the activity mode, so that'll be cutting it fine. So I thought, Do you know what, why not order a, a Garmin now? get used to it, just train with it, and that, that'll be my watch for the Ultra. It's got about 10 days left of battery. That is not the, that's not all the kit. I picked up this yesterday, and I wore it out yesterday as well. So I've been looking for a running jacket, obviously because Decathlon don't like to give good fitting garments to people that are slightly broader in the shoulders, but wanna do running, and I just went on Google, just typed in running jacket. It's from my protein, right, but I thought, you know what, I'll give it, I'll order it. So there we go, my protein. And there it is. Running jacket. It's really thin material, proper nice windbreaker. And the important thing is it fits. It only cost me 11 quid. Not sure why, but 11 quid. It was discounted to 23 quid. No, 20, 22 quid. And then I used one of those influencer discounts. I think I used Matt, Matt, Mattus Fitnesses. And that got me 50% off. I have got a, like I said, I've got a 40 minute run today. 
and then I've got gym later to do pull, so. So one thing that's been a nice little snack and has been sitting quite nicely is I've been eating a load of yogurt at the moment. So natural yogurt, bit of honey, bit of granola. I've run out a little bit. I buy this granola from Aldi. And honestly, I look forward to this every single day. It's actually quite nice because like, I, d I never knew how much, like how meticulous you've got to be with like what you put in your body and, and how things are going to sit during runs and stuff. Trying to find the right foods that that sit well with me is, is, has been quite quite challenging. But this, I feel, sits quite nicely for me. Five miles. What are you saying? It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just we, we just did uh, we just did Beechwood Hill, and honest to God, that's, that's that's the first time I've done hill runs. I had to have a stop at the top. Yeah, but fair play, you like you went all the way to the top. Yeah, without stopping. And which for, for someone's first go, that yeah. that ain't too bad at all. And but I think if you look at the pace after, you'd see it was quite. But I had to stop. I had to stop at the top. Just ch chucked a gel down and carried on. <laughs> but towards the end, my my uh, my heart rate was about 150, 155. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's good. But it's not all about the it's not all about the pace or the time at the moment. It's just getting used to the just getting out for some time. Getting out for some time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts? Well, mine was the complete antithesis of Tom's experience. So I've been up that hill many of times. I've been up there fast. I've been up there slow. And today was probably one of the slowest <laughs> that I've ever yeah. been up that hill. <laughs> and I got to probably about halfway up, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, it's definitely time to walk." <laughs> yeah. I think my heart rate hit 192 at one point. Yeah. But he, so. he, I mean, he is, he is 18 stone at the moment. Not, yeah. not, not, not in the wrong places, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is great banter. See, he's got a lot more weight to carry around, but fair play for like 18 stone. That's, it's, it's good going. Like. Six months I did solid training for a marathon. Yeah. And I think if I didn't do that, yeah, I muscle. would not be joining you today, Tom. It's just muscle memory, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, that is that. So it is now half past eight. I'm off to the gym to get some, do some back, do some pull. Yeah, like I said earlier, it was first hill runs today and oh my God, my legs feel like jelly, but I've got two more 40 minute runs this week and then an, uh, a one hour, uh, one hour and a half run then on Sunday, I'm hoping for. And then that day is training done for the week. I'm really enjoying it. Like my fitness is just increasing, like ev like run by run. Like the, the weather's holding up slightly. I'm gonna have to probably invest in more training stuff, like, leggings and stuff like that but that will across that bridge when i come to it but yeah <laughs> 